All right, and welcome everybody in Twitch and also on YouTube for our next deck, Grixis Burn. So this is a donation deck that uh, for, that Steve here that donated for it uh, said is not necessarily the best deck. So you know, uh, gonna go ahead and throw that out there. But they found it a whole lot of fun, so we're gonna try to uh, have a lot of fun with it also because it does look pretty sweet. It's something a little different, and yeah, I'm I'm, a, I'm excited to to play this. We're playing no creatures. All burn spells, Grixis colors. Nine baller, thanks for resubbing there. Second month. How are we doing? That's sub number four on the day. Um, so the the thing that we've been talking about here in chat uh, while we're throwing this together here is um, is the nineteen lands. So there's we only have nineteen lands in here, so that doesn't seem like very many. Um, but if we hit just a, a couple mana sources, you know, especially three, if we could just get to three mana, our cards kind of, uh, snowball. We have a lot of card advantage in here. Sort of point diplomacy basically always gets you more lands. Risk factor does as well. Search for Escanta can make sure you hit your land drops. Light up the stage, uh, helps you go through your deck as well. So we have a lot of cards that go through our deck. You know, we have a lot of velocity is like a term like that, that as like cards that help you go through your deck quickly. Um... And so we should be able to find more lands than normal uh, in that case. Um, we have Expansion Explosion here that we're basically always using Expansion. Uh, casting Explosion with our, our low land counts just not going to really happen. But, you know, we get to copy some of these other things um, that could be pretty good for us. And we get some, some counterplay here with Ionize uh, to counter and deal some damage. So there we go that looks pretty looks pretty sweet we got a little bit of removal over here in the sideboard with these ritual sits and the devils definitely bringing these ritual sits against wild growth walker decks you can check out their hand got a couple other sideboards or sorry a couple other lands in the sideboard if we if we're playing like bedevils and soots where we're not going to be drawing as many cards so we got a couple lands to, to help out there and uh mirari conjecture looks really sweet uh to be able to get back uh these spells and start copying things and chaining them off and all that kind of stuff. So let's go. Grixis burn. Harvest says I just opened a Lyra Dawnbringer and now have a full set. Heck yeah. Way to go, Harv. Hey, Eisenhaft, good evening. All good. Glad you're here. Um, hmm. I don't think I like the just click okay all the time. No, I don't like that. All right, we're a burn deck. Time to start burning. Am I going to Lightning Strike a Jade Light Ranger next turn? Like, our opponent's probably playing Jade Light Ranger next turn. Am I going to Lightning Strike it? I don't think I need to. Let's go and bite. Yeah, we got three lands to start off. That's certainly good. Unfortunately, Swordpoint Diplomacy is not an instant. That'd be really nice if it was an instant. All right, they didn't play anything here. It's weird. Four mana, they don't usually have a whole lot of stuff to play at four mana, so let's just go Diplomacy. Hey, nerd girl. Hope you're having a good Wednesday. You know, it's probably pretty early for you. Ooh, they're just saying draw three. All right, I'll take all three. Thank you, thank you. Hmm. Guess I just pass. This is like their Vivian turn. We want to ionize that. Oh. That's weird. So I could copy this and draw two. Um, but then I'd have to go to discard. 
Soul Tech Control, huh? I'll let this resolve. Modern question for you. How do you feel about blue white in modern in this metagame? Honestly, I'm just I'm not uh I'm honestly not really up to date with the modern metagame too much. So I don't I don't have a a real good uh take on um on how blue white control is. It seems like there's a lot of Phoenix decks running around these days. And And if that's the case, then uh, am I just going to risk factor and then copy it with an expansion? I'm just going to have so many cards. Um, if that's the case, then uh, Rune Halo seems like a pretty decent place to be. Is our opponent just going to give us six cards? We have too much card draw. Too much card draw. Dun, 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 dun. Alright, so let's shock them. Light up the stage. Cards I can use next turn. Three, six, seven, eight. So now I don't need to discard. Next turn I can play like the mountain and the skewer and stuff. So they're very dead next turn. So they have like one turn to kill me. Maybe I should just go to discard there and just hold a buy and eyes. Yeah, not exactly sure what our opponent's doing. Like, they'd have to be a Nexus deck, right? Alright, 10. Can I deal 10? Well, I guess I'm not actually dealing damage to our opponent. I'm not turning on... Maybe I need to actually keep that lightning strike. Hmm. I think I'm just passing turn with this ionize available. Oh, right. Then the skewer goes away. Crap, I forgot this. Yeah, I need just a skewer there. Too many different hands. Alright, so they can untap their mana. That's probably bad for me. That's alright, we don't we don't need that skewer, we're getting infinite cards anyway. We have literal infinite cards.
All right, deck's looking pretty good to start with. Hmm. Let's copy that Sovereign's Bite. Nah. Ionize is kind of lame for the win. Copying Sovereign's Bite is pretty cool. We don't do that too often. That's a cooler way to win. Alright, so... Um... This seems like this is a good matchup for us. This is what we want to face. A deck that isn't doing anything for a long time. Yeah, the expansion actually felt really... Yeah, expansion was good. <laughs> there you go. State Manzo says that they crafted this right now. Steve, that's awesome. Um, so let's get these drill bits in here. Instead of Carnival. I mean, Carnage is okay. But I don't know if, if that's going to matter too much. Carnival just doesn't do anything. Dude, Carnage with expansion when you have six mana? That's pretty messed up. Hmm. Yeah, there's there's enough card advantage in the deck that getting six mana didn't not seem like a problem. I'm going to take out one light up the stage. Whoops, give me the sword point back. I guess Carnival's a way to turn on Spectacle, though. It could be difficult turning on Spectacle without Carnival. All right, let's get these back in here. I'm going to take out the Light Up the Stages. Yeah. I don't think we'll need them with our... The risk factors in the Sovereign's Bites, our opponent has shown that they just want to give us lots of cards. So I don't think we need Light Up the Stage also. Hmm. Four out of 19 lands? I think we're going to draw some spells. Right? Can we just expand? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Can we just expansion Carnage one time? One time. Expansion Carnage. It's deal f deal <laughs> six, discard four. Can we just do that one time? Yeah, Light at the Stage may not have been the, the best card to take out. Um, I don't know what else to take out, though. Seems like we have... We're going to have enough cards. Ah, Negates. Boo. Alright, so they only have three cards left in hand. So I could risk factor if they take the four, then I get to drill a bit. Um kinda inclined just to just to cast drill a bit here though. I only have three cards in hand. They're gonna you know, so they may run out of cards kinda quickly. So if they have a counter spell, I'd rather them counter the drill bit than counter the risk factor. Yes, like they have the negate. So if I if I just play the risk factor, like it certainly feels like they'd have another counter spell. I don't want them countering risk factor, I'd rather them just counter the, the discard spell. No, that's what I wanted to take last turn. Crew, prepare the gallows. We've got company. Hmm. All 
That's really bad. Really? They had to just draw that there this turn? Like, that's what I, I figured their last card in hand was something big, you know, is the Nexus. But they could have just not top decked for a turn, because then next turn I was going to be able to hold up Ionize and then Risk Factor at end step. My crew is the finest in the seas. Yeah, no risk factor is instant. I, our opponent has shown the propensity to draw, to let us draw cards. So if if they were gonna just let us draw cards, I wanted to play it during my turn to hit a land drop. Keep them from ultimating. Nebraska for a turn. Give me give me the black mana. Yes. That was a really good draw. That sword point diplomacy dealt them three, got us another land drop to cast the sovereign's bite. Now we just need any no any burn spell to go with the sovereign's bite here. Dang. One mana short. So close. Do it, Vraska Ultimate. So close. That's a, that was a really unlucky game for us to lose. I'm drawing that Vraska that one turn. Should I be playing Bedevil? I don't think so. I think we're okay. See, I didn't feel like I needed to light up the stages there. I think, I think we're okay there, too. Yeah. Vraska ult so fast. The Erasure didn't really matter. The Erasure just took the Ionize. That, that didn't matter. I didn't need to, ca to cast that. Oh, uh, this is the problem with our 19 land deck. The double negate that they had was kind of rough, but you know, you expect them to have that. So I have I have expansion here ready to copy uh, like a thought erasure if they have that. Um, do I want to copy growth spiral? No, I don't want to copy Grow Spiral. There's there's a bunch of lands. Thank you, James. James 
sub in there for the third month. Thanks, James. Thanks for all the kind words. Um... Yeah, now we have too many lands. Looks like we may actually get to explosion. So if I just go Strike Skewer, we can still have Expansion up. Yeah, live the stage would be nice, um, of course, here. Not looking so good for us. Yeah, I, I don't know why as can't or wilderness reclamation was printed either. I, I, yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know what the. I don't have any answers for what the goal of that card is, like why why it needed to be printed. Like what what positives that design can have. When they are able to flip um Search Rest Canta though. You can't expansion Nexus. Expansion is copy a spell with CMC4 or less. So you, I can't copy Nexus. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a weird interaction of, um, yeah, you said you're new to magic of, of like how the, the Nexus thing, how it's, I, I don't think that that was tested too much. I think that was just a design mistake that just kind of fell through the cracks with Nexus of Fate being a, a buy box promo <clears throat> and not in any of the sets. So I, I don't think that that was something that they really realized was going to happen. When they made it a card. But yeah, Nexus of Fate cannot cannot leave the metagame soon enough. I feel like it's the only real design problem with standard these days. No, Wizards has not said anything about addressing it or any or anything like that. This is my fault for the, the second game. 
I think I could have. I think I should have won the second game. I should have just held up I and I's instead of casting the drill bit. You know, we we let our opponent top deck that Vraska and not have the the I and I's mana for it, and so I lost. This game, you know, we mold to five and whatever, but the second game I could have won. I don't think we can win this anymore with Ascanta and two Reclamations in play. Like, I just, I just don't think we can win. All right, 0-1. Um, yeah, I feel I feel bad for that 0-1 because I think I could have won the second game. All right, let's try again. Let's get some lands. All right, we got lands. Keeping that, we have all of our three mana spells. So we're not not doing anything for a little bit. Then if you have four of a if it's a rare or a mythic, if it's an if it's a common or uncommon that you get as the ICR, then um the, you get progress towards the vault. If you have a get a rare or a mythic that you have four of, um then you just get gems instead. 20 gems for a rare and 40 gems for a mythic. Get the ionize out of our hand. Yeah, it's very hard for a card to be banned. And I don't think. Like, Nexus is not seeing enough. It's not winning enough for it to get banned, I don't think. Alright, so Swordpoint Diplomacy should help us hit land drops. Because I don't think our opponent's going to pay 3 life to keep us from drawing a land. I, I mean, I, I would like to just go Lightning Strike Skewer, like they're two creatures, but you know, we don't get to do that. Alright, so they took the 3, so now we get to Skewer. I'm going to go ahead and Skewer the... I don't know, one of these. We'll just take out the Aspirant. Hmm. Alright. I think the opponent could have maybe fought through that. Alright, so all the ritual sets. Coming on in. I, we don't beat a Danto Vanguard ever. So we just hope hope we're not getting paired against Adanto Vanguard. Um, I'm cutting Ionize because we're not going to be able to just sit sit back and wait for like three mana. I certainly want another land though with these Ritual of Soots. So let's get another Black Source in there. I do like how Ascanta gets to transform for us. 
think Escant is actually kind of a fine turn two play. It gets to find, you know, we get to look for more ritual of sets and then how it can transform to be the fourth land. Um, I think I kind of like that card. I'm thinking about maybe taking out an expansion. I think it's either expansion or light up. I think expansion. If I trim one of those. Yeah, Cry of the Carnarium could be a good sideboard card for this deck. Um, absolutely. I could certainly see Cry of the Carnarium for like this kind of matchup. Be perfect here. Only costing three is something nice for this for this deck. And like the Exile, because yeah, I, I don't have any answers to a Dante Vanguard, so really hope our opponent doesn't play that card. I mean, I guess our answers are they have to pay four life. So like it turns all of our burn spells into deal four kind of thing. All right, so not let them gain life. Hmm. So I go shock this turn, sword point diplomacy next turn. Yeah, that's a good point. The Adanto has four damage burn, so as long as we're not like behind. I do not want to see sort. Good. I do not. Want, I was gonna say I do not want to see ritual of set um, in any of those there. Invectalcom with the Twitch Prime sub. Thanks. Thank you so much. That gets some hype in the channel, and uh, oh, we hit our sub goal. Help remind me after this time to get a pack. So we are at six subs on the day, and it says the number it actually says is 75. Gosh, Venerate Luxodon is messed up. This is the like you know like last time we we're playing Mono White Judith, and this was saying that we we don't have like a Danto Vanguard and Venerate Luxodon. So cards that we should be playing. I think this deck does good against control. I think control is like our best matchup with this deck. I think this is like our worst matchup with just all these creatures that we can't handle. Because I think this deck has really good card advantage. And so that's why I'm disappointed that I lost that last game against the Sultai Nexus deck. Yeah, you know, they they're also a combo deck though. They just comboed off and killed us. They just combo killed us. On like turn six. Um Just go strike, strike on the two knights. We're just taking 10. I, c I mean, we're taking 12. I can't, I just can't win. I don't think I can win. It's like, yeah, you ritual set doesn't really save us. I can't win. There's no. No route to winning there. We need you, Ritual Sit.
day nine ropes and when the opponents are playing Nexus, that's that's not good. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, when Mono White has one drop into a Danta Vanguard, into History, into another one drop in Venerate Luxodon, your deck's gonna look bad. There's there's not any deck in the format that beats that, for the most part. I got not so yeah, our deck looks pretty bad there. No, I I boarded in a land border in. I have two lands in the sideboard. I brought one in. Next turn I can have Shock, Stage, Skewer, all that. Hey Zerf, good day today. Doing good, doing good. Alright, let's Shock and then Stage and kind of go from there. Alright, another Stage. It's only playing this. Hmm. All right, next turn we strike, copy it, hit him down to nine. It's GP Toronto this weekend. I'm ready to almost day two again. <laughs> you got this. Wait, what? I wanted to copy that. It like usually lets you stop and copy. Uh Usually like I've never had to like hit hold control before, it just lets you do it, but I guess since this isn't in my hand, if it's in my hand it would have let me do it. Why not copy the bite? Because the, the strike and the expansion I couldn't cast until like I could only cast this turn. Yeah, so the exile messes with full control, and I didn't know that before. But, you know, obviously now I know that, but I didn't know that before. Uh. So that that hurts. They, sh they should be at 9. And then, you know, like they should be at 9 with me still having the skewer in hand. And you know, Basically, that just makes us discard the skewer. That certainly hurts. Because they, they could be at three right now. Yeah, to be fair, I, I did bring in a 20th land. So we are a 20 land deck here. Yeah, we would have we would had game here. This, this should be a win. Twelve. We can go to one. Come on, deck, give us another burn spell. Uh, that's really disappointing. Uh, that should have been a win. If the cards would have worked correctly. And I think we could have won the first match too. So both really close tough losses. I'm going to play that 
you know, like, I don't want to just play, like, the two matches there for the donation deck. So we'll play another one here in our ranked queue in just a second. Let's open a pack here first um, for getting to our uh, five subs on the day, though. 20 gems. Already have all the rares in the set there. Alright, let's go to our, our ranked. Let's try it again. Grixis Burn. Yeah, like that That should have just been a win with the copy. It, it's usually really good with let, letting you copy the spells, but since it was in exile, it didn't let me do it. So this is kind of a good part about having the rank stuff is I can just, we go 0 and 2 with the donation deck if I want, we can just try it out a little bit more in the, the ranked queue here. We can play another couple games, couple matches. I like, I like having a lot of lands um, in this deck, even though obviously that last hand it didn't work out having a lot of lands, but with this only having 19, um, I don't want to mulligan and then just have like zero landers and stuff like that. So we'll just go ahead and keep this. Yeah, you can find it. Uh, exclamation point decks. If you ever want to see any of the decks we play, that's why it says the today's exclamation point decks. You can always find them there. Probably 12. Scale of 1 to 10, how much value does green-white value accumulate? I'll go with the 12. Alright, we're playing against Gates. Can we get 15 points of burn? Thoughts on Jun mid-range? I think that there's a, um, a lot of potential there. Oh man, that the 6-mana Angel is just just destroys me, and so does Plaza of Harmony. Okay, so they're playing... They're playing the, uh... Nexus version. No, I don't have any plans to go back to, to Modern. Um, I mean, it's been, like, over a month since I've streamed it. Been close to two months now, but last last like three, four, five times that I streamed modern, I'd have like basically no viewers and um, didn't enjoy playing Magic Online as much as playing Arena. So right, I should have waited till after the Wilderness Reclamation trigger. Looks like a big explosion here. I wouldn't mind drawing a land this turn where I can uh, discard the land to risk factor. So we, we kind of don't really have any bad draws here. Because if we draw like a bad card, we just, just get to discard to risk factor. If we draw a good card, we get to cast it. Kind of thing. I'd say that's a pretty good card. Do I just want to shock, just go bite shock, put them down to four, and then next turn they have to let me draw three? Or I just discard the shock to risk factor. They may just take the four and go down to five, and then we have bite plus draw steps to finish them off. Um, I guess I'll discard the shock. We'll go that way.
All right, now uh, a whole lot of our deck is turned on. We just draw like an explosion or expansion. Ah, uh, plaza. Stupid plazas. Hmm. Okay, we got them down to two. That Plaza Harmony. Save them. Can we can we finish the job off? Good, not a plaza. Racist. They just have so much life gain. The deck filled with shocks is not good against life gain. Yeah, we were real close to finishing them off. Got them down to two. Couple of these shocks dealt three damage instead of two. So we'll see what they have. Um, they probably have nexuses by now, and can probably just finish us off. You know, they have a million cards in hand. Life link, that'll do it. Yeah, life gain's real hard for, for burn for sure. Um. What if we try this Mirari Conjecture? Oh, I forgot about Carnage in our deck. Oh, we just need Carnage Explosion. So if we play Mirari and Drill Bits, both of those seem pretty good. Whoops. That's five cards. If we're playing Mirari, we kind of need these other lands. So that's seven cards. But what seven cards am I cutting? is the question. I guess maybe it is these carnages. They usually get lots and lots of cards. I like Ion Eyes. I like Escanta. Maybe it's just expansion. Alright, let's try this. All right, so turn two, we can have Shock plus Light up the stage. And uh, try to see if we get like a land plus um, like a three mana card for like turn, you know, get a couple things for turn three. Our opponent's on four cards with no land. All right, well, I'm just casting the Risk Factor next turn. Guess we don't get the Skewer. Yep, 
Yeah, the link right right above you. Yeah, that the dex link is right right above your comment there. Uh, ref. All right. Well, our opponent didn't do anything that game. Um. I'm not sure if I like taking out these expansions. Okay, you just joined. So yeah, that's why. <laughs> All right, let's let's see if if we can do decks again. Okay, that's why it didn't it didn't let you do decks immediately because, um, you know, it doesn't. Uh, you know, MTG bot doesn't let people just you know spam the 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 commands over and over. So there's the command right above you. Yes, yeah, so no problem. Um, I could see not playing drill bit and just playing expansion instead of drill bit, honestly. That's like the one thing that I'm not sure about here. Alright, I like having the Ascanta on turn 2 to help us hit land drops. Especially find black mana, obviously. <laughs> yep, that's Hawkeye being, just being a floof. He's just kind of lying there. Yeah, Bedevil hasn't seen a whole lot of play because there's just, just Rakdos in general hasn't been as good as other uh, guilds, and that's why. It's nothing, nothing against Bedevil. Um... But it doesn't have, like, you know, Rakdos doesn't have, like, Hydroid Crisis and Thief of Sanity and all that kind of stuff. Um, I don't know, the other stuff that people are playing these days. The mana that Treasure Map requires is, is probably, is, like, something you don't really want with this deck. Um... So Search Rose Canted just has like the two mana um, requirement like up up front, but then you know flips over a land and helps you get other spells with everything in the deck being a spell. This is crazy. Deck's hating us. There we go, finally. All right, and speaking of Mono White Judith, it's almost ready to be up on YouTube. Let me finish that out. And this is done. Just taking lethal. That was a tough game.
Yeah, so we we went into the we went into into this playing this deck knowing um, <laughs> the Rams won it there. <laughs> Finally, the Rams won something. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, thanks, feature. Awesome stream with a handsome cat. Thanks, feature. Yeah, I mean, we we went into this knowing that our deck wasn't amazing. You know, like that's what. You know the 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 person that made the deck, you know, was saying that like this isn't the the most this isn't the best deck, um, but they've been having a lot of fun with it, and um, profane procession, good for Esper control in the sideboard, potentially. Yeah, the the problem with profane procession, I guess I should probably get back to the deck, but I guess. The problem with Profane Procession is the biggest creature matchup is Sultai, and uh, it's really weak to Vivian, you know, and it costs a lot of mana. But anyway, back to our deck. Um, yeah, the the thing is, is though, like, our games are really close. Like, it says, like, the first two matches that we lost, like, like that match we lost. But the first two, we should have won the second match. It was just like a... Um, I didn't know like that that arena was not going to stop and let me expansion. You know, like we we had another burn spell that we we didn't get to cast. Uh, we should have we should have just had lethal because they were at three and we didn't get to do the three damage with that expansion. So um, we honestly should have won that one. And then the the first game that we lost, we got really unlucky to lose with our opponent top decking of Raska in the the perfect turn. I could have played around it though. I played like a discard spell when they had one card in hand. I could have just saved Ionize. I could have just passed and saved Ionize. I took their last card, um, which didn't matter too much. It was a Nexus of Faith. It, it didn't matter. Uh, they drew a Vraska with their six mana, got to play Vraska Relic Seeker, and, and we barely lost because of that. So if I would have just Ionized. So honestly, we could have been 2-0 before that one instead of 0-2. So, um, yeah. So they are, like... So like one of a, one of our losses was just because of a bug, the other loss was because I didn't hold up the I and I. So just saying like the deck's really bad when we we really could have been two zero. So one, no, the deck's not perfect. You know, it's it's certainly not. We don't have we don't have creatures to to do like to do anything in combat, and we don't really have good answers to larger creatures. So larger creatures just kind of destroy us because we don't have removal for them, and we don't have any creatures to block. So that's certainly certainly a problem. Um, thanks, Clave. But, uh, yeah. But overall, I was, I was ple pleasantly, I was pleased. I was pleased with, with how the deck played out. I, I thought the 19 lands was going to be a big problem, and it, it wasn't really that big of a problem. Different colors were a problem, though. There's only, like, just looking at this, just eight, eight black sources and eight blue sources is just not enough of those colors. So that that was like the biggest problem with the mana was the colors, like like blue or black there. Um, I kind of like what we have going on here, but I think if I would, I would put this deck together, I think I'd really look towards not only playing a few more lands, but also just having Pestilent Spirits, if not in the main, in the sideboard. I know uh, Steo didn't want us to have any creatures, but having pestilence spirits where we can play spirit and then like carnival or shock and we can kill big creatures i think would be a really big boon to this and it's kind of like how we had with the rakdos burn we played a rakdos burn deck before um you know which you can see you can find the rakdos burn on my uh on the youtube channel which i'll put the link in here if you want to see the replay of that, the Rakdos burn we did really well with. We went five one with it, and a big a big part of that was having pestilence spirits in the sideboard that were bringing in against the creature decks and killing their creatures with it. But overall, uh, expansion expansion felt really good, and so did um, Ionize. But expansion was surprisingly good, and there we go. So Grixis burn. All right. So if you're watching this later on YouTube, um, you know, first, thanks for watching. Uh, second, hopefully you hit that subscribe button so you can see the other decks as well. And then I will uh, see you for the next one. So thanks for watching again.